Hi folks, Tim here again from High on Cheap Tech and today we're going to do a kind of a heads up comparison between these Elector D12s and the MPOW M30s. The goods, the bads, the differences and why one may be right for you and the other may also be right for you. Um, so let's get to that right after the intro. Remember Links for all this will be in the description below. So always use the links there. And, uh, you know, a little clarity here. Nobody is going to see this video before I post it. So this is all going out on my own. And uh, let's get right to it now, shall we? Intro time. All right, folks, we're back, and uh, today we're going to do the comparison on the MPOWs here and the electors. And we're going to tell you the goods and the bads on both. Um, first, and this is the first thing you're going to want to know, and these are in the same price range, almost identical prices, I believe. Check the links in the description below. Um, sound quality absolute winner the mpal they get really loud if you're into really loud they have better highs and better bass the electors adequate sound it's it, i'm not saying it's bad but once you try the impulse you'll be like eh. uh, so that's the first thing sound mpo winner M30s. Now, next is fit them in your ear. The impals, which of course, as soon as you open the case, they're gonna boom, they're already paired up to my phone over there. Or they're trying to. I think yeah, you just pop them out, and you can pop one or both out and use them that way, or both, and use them for phone calls. and listen to the music. Uh, the electors quite a bit bigger and thicker. You'll see here. And they don't try to pair up right away. You have to kind of pull them out of the case and then they'll start to pair up. Uh, once again, either or kind of deal. So these will fit almost flat in your ears. So if you're put, pulling a tight hood on on a cold day, they're not gonna pop the earbud out. And those little fins they come with really hook in good, and they're comfortable. These have, you know, just a big knob up here, and you turn it until it kind of catches in your ear. Uh, I don't like it as well, it's just not as good a way to Fit them. Um, we have touch controls here, and we have clicky buttons here. If you like clicky buttons, you're going to prefer these. And by no means, by the way, on that sound thing, am I saying these are bad? They're just nowhere near as good as those. Um, and so, the last but not least, and this might be kind of important to you. You know, they both have the same controls. You know, skip ahead, volume up, volume down, take calls or pause. You can pause a video too, and they both work and they stay in sync with videos. The sound is super good. <coughs> 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 <laughs> of course, <coughs> which is why I'm sitting there doing a video in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, now, 
if you are just getting a set of earbuds and you're going to take them to work or something and you want the, you know, convenience in the touch screen, yeah, these will get you about four and a half hours. That's as much as I can verify. They claim five. <coughs> you recharge them about three more times out of this case. That's all she wrote. On the other hand, over here, this has a 2600 milliamp hour battery. Now, I didn't I haven't charged these for two weeks. Well, let's just pull them out for a second. And we're at 83%, folks, on that case. Uh, 2,600 milliamp hours. Yeah. So, if you're going to go on, if you're just taking something to work that you want to get through the day with, these will get the job done big time. You can get them to recharge in about, put them back in the case two hours if you, or you can swap them throughout the day. You're going to lose the functionality off the one ear, but, like, only one has volume up and only one has volume down. And, you know, one skips track forward, the other skips the track back. Same with the electors, same deal. Although, they get a little bit longer battery life. And they do have the clicky buttons, if you like the clicky buttons versus the, you know, touch controls. The touch controls take a while to get used to, but, it ain't horrible, by any means. But the big deal here is, if you're going on vacation, say, for two weeks and you don't care about bringing a charger along, USB-C, charge it once. It'll get you through a two-week vacation, folks. 16 recharges. So if you're a traveler, on the road, tend to forget your charger. Oh, and by the way, you can bring a cable along that comes in the box, throw it in your, you know, go bag, and uh, you could theoretically charge your phone with this. Uh, and you can, I've tried it. And it'll charge your phone. I mean, 2600 milliamp hour battery, it'll charge up a pretty good sized phone or at least get that phone through, uh, through that, you know, say, you got a call coming in, you need to make sure you got enough, and you're down to 18%. You plug them into this thing, just make sure you have the plug facing the right way, and you will get USB-C charging, and it comes with, you know, USB-C to USB-C cable, and it'll charge your phone up. It's not gonna help you if you're still using micro SD, but oh well, I can't fix everything. And uh, on that note, that is the comparison. So overall, the better set of headphones, obviously the Impel M30s, but if you're a traveler, Want to have all that extra juice? Uh, these are the ones for you. And if you're just a day-to-day -day user, these are the ones for you. Sounds better, and they get really loud. So that's all I have for today. If you found this informative, useful, or helpful in any way. Leave a comment and the feedback below. Share this video. And please like, share, and subscribe. And read that description below, of course. Thanks for watching. I am out of here. See you in the next one.